The Globesbury Edelstein directed the world premiere of Nathan Englander's The 27th Man in New York. Now he brings the play to San Diego. It's based on an actual historical event that took place that very few people know about, which is this thing called the Night of the Murdered Poets in August of 1952. There are another two dozen? Nearly. We are 27 altogether. That was the order from Stalin himself, signed by his own hand. 27 dropped into this very same cell. There were these great Yiddish writers that had been encouraged by the regime in the Soviet Union. And then near the end of his life, Stalin turned on them, arrested them, jailed them, tortured them, and executed them. That's all true. Hearing about these writers just erased by Stalin, I, I, it really just touched on some deep sense of injustice that I couldn't handle and I felt a real writer needs to give these people a story. Someone has to revive them. I understood that our life, that Yiddish, it was done. Hitler was busy killing the Jewish body, but Stalin was smarter than that. Stalin, you could already see then had a better plan. He was going to kill the Jewish soul. In the play, Stalin wants to wipe out the Yiddish language along with its writers. Actor Hal Linden plays one of the writers. One would imagine, for instance, if everybody in the world spoke the same language, we may not have the same rifts that we have. But then again, look how much culture and texture we'd be losing. Let me shine. And it is much about the process of writing as it is about the politics, I think. <laughs> it's also about a lost culture. Englander conveys some of that lost Yiddish culture in the way his characters speak. Ostensibly, we are speaking Yiddish, even though it's in English for the audience to understand it. But he uses not only cadences, but uh, constructions, practically translated directly from the Yiddish. You get that impression. Stalin! Yeah. Ruthless killer of <laughs> For one word, for less he takes a life. Who knows for what nothing he takes ours. I was living in New York, but getting educated fully in Yiddish rhythms, even though it was in English. I should say, I should wait here all day for you to show up at five o'clock. Like everything, every sentence I heard was constructed in the reverse, and that's still how I think and still how I write. His play also reveals a Yiddish sense of humor in the face of tragedy. That's really the thing that distinguishes the Yiddish culture and the very specific kind of Jewish voice, which is this intensely ironic cast that's, you know, funny and warm and witty and surprising, and that's like in every line of this play. Whatever happened to taking a man out quietly and putting a bullet in his head? It's dark and funny at the same time, and you never quite know which it is first. Englander says he can't unravel the two. If someone, like, picks up the phone and calls with, you know, terrible news or something like that, I feel like that comes with a joke. Real work does not get done by a man in his underpants. It's not to leaven it or lighten a production about imprisoned people. I just think that even in the moment, as I imagine it, there's no way that one could sustain, like, the gravity of that without, you know, the humor of it, too. It's a humor that emphasizes the humanity of the characters, and Englander's play ensures that we won't forget them or their Yiddish culture. Beth Akamando, KPBS News.